Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, introduction to bootstrap. We are going to initiating a concept of bootstrap lecture from here. Bootstrap 4 is the latest version as of now while we are preparing the course and doing now. Bootstrap is a free and open source CSS framework directed at responsive mobile first front end web development technology using this bootstrap we'll have a very lightweight pages to load at your devices called computer system mobile and a tab wherever you are going to using developed a web form using bootstrap framework it contains css and javascript based design templates for typography forms, buttons, navigation, and other interface components. The present development in the world's most popular framework for building responsive pages and mobile first sites with Bootstrap CDN with a template starter page. You won't believe it that it's true. By doing such a great work with the development environment of uh, by doing the like uh, this HTML form are involving and integrating with Bootstrap 4. Thank you for watching this session. Thank you. In our next lecture, we'll see what is Bootstrap exactly and how to. Thank you. Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you will be known what is Bootstrap. In our previous lecture, also we have a known about introduction to Bootstrap, whereas in more detail about exactly what is Bootstrap. Let's begin. Bootstrap 4 is the newest version of Bootstrap. This framework is to apply for developing responsive of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on mobile-first websites. Bootstrap 4 is completely free to download and use. So-called, it is open source. Integrating this framework to your web project is very easy and free to use. Two ways to integrate to your project one is package manager or you need to download the source files from the bootstrap and make it as in a functional like a directory sub separately creating in your project called bootstrap. There you have to place all these downloaded files and accordingly you have to specify a link how we have uh, given for like uh, integrating CSS external files and JavaScript files. The same way we have to give a part of this file. To integrate how you handle and uh, see the CSS style sheet file parts, like same way you can copy the link of Bootstrap style sheet and paste within head tag. Once added, it loads default style sheets and you can avail by calling this boot, like a default Bootstrap functionality on the predefined libraries for the styles and the popovers, shades, many things, many wonders of the like beautification you can do your HTML forms with the lightweight, don't forget about it. In Bootstrap, most of the components require to use JavaScript to function it. Specifically, they require jQuery and Bootstrap own plugin. These all scripts you need to place on a script tag before closing the body tag. I hope you are familiar what is bootstrap and how to use. We'll jump start to like initiate how to use and how to interact with this bootstrap libraries and having many components are get ready to discuss. Let's start the session. Thank you. Hello. 
Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you are going to learn first bootstrap web page we are going to create. How pretty it is easy. I will show you a very simple techniques to copy and paste works only here. Just you need to go around bootstrap site and take the template and grab it and like a saving our own project environment and run the file. That's all about to create bootstrap first page. How it is. Let's see here. Be sure to have pages set up the latest design and development standards. That means using an HTML5 doc type and including a viewport meta tag for proper responsive behavior. Put it all together on your pages should look like this. And to go to our startup template, like a startup template, like a, we have enough information to like a, creating by using the startup template to quick start and uh, immediately jumping to collecting the all the libraries which are available in Bootstrap 4, the latest one. You can easily grab it. How? Just go with this URL I have shown here, like https forward slash like a get bootstrap.com docs 4.0 like a latest version getting iphone start head and introduction this is the url and uh, very simply i'll show you this is the code of that particular path you need not to write on a single line of code i'm assuring that let's see here go to google very simple like just simply type uh, like a get bootstrap.com open the site Yes, we are here and uh, I would like to tell you a few things. Once I, would, I would have to show you the thing of uh, how to create like uh, our own bootstrap thing, then I will explain you the few things to how to go for a more uh, productive and uh, way of a technical professional. Way. All right. Now let's see. This is the first page I'm showing you here very clearly. Go to the documentation here. Very simple documentation. Now let's see here the document of docs 4.5 and getting started introduction we have reached here. Now what I'm doing here, scroll down for this introduction, scroll down. Here you'll observe starter template, right? Be sure your page is the latest design of the development of standards. Now just see here, it is in a copy, copy to clipboard means you just press the copy. Yes, it is copied. Now open any of your favorite editor like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, how you are implemented using any of your favorite editor. Likewise, use the same editor itself. All right. Once we have taken a copy and I'm going to create a new file. Yes, like a new file here. And I'm saving this file at my web demo folder. Yes, this is the web demo folder and I am put it as a bootstrap for dot html. All right, save it. Now you just paste the content what we have copied. I have a taken a copy from this starter template, just copy, and I have a taken like an initiating initiating of the step of control completely. The code is pasted here. That's it. I didn't uh, even, I didn't written any a single line of code here. Right? Now you save it and try to run, right click open in browser. This will open our favorite browser. It is now it is opening like a uh, Internet Explorer and transmitting to the taking of the copy of this URL to our Internet Explorer to listen like a uh, Google Chrome. Paste here, check with this URL, yes. Hello world, it is font, everything is awesome font will be applied here. See, I'm expanding the page view up to 250%, you'll observe that. We got it the responsive with the bootstrap page. That's it, this is our, uh, like uh, integrating bootstrap into our local project. How pretty it is easy. Yes, easy. See, more detailed, I'll go with the startup template. Nice. Yes. Now go to this site. 
here you can observe this is the indication of html5 doc type and uh, here like i will see we'll explain here with the code part character set it is by default they have ready made like giving you all the things but you need to know how to handle and how to use these things to your local web page that's all about all about our bootstrap lectures will be like this only will be known you need not to be more familiar and uh, more uh, like uh, to be use your analytical levels and all not required just you need to know how to copy and paste the code wherever it is required that is sufficient to make your make your uh, site more beautification and um, applying more css and uh, like uh, creating very lightweight pages as well this is the view part for like um, creating a responsive pages the link here for bootstrap css this is the comment line and a link with the relation of style sheet and href attribute is showing that the path of stackpath.bootstrapcdn.com and 4.5 css bootstrap.min.css is the file we are able to accessing from real time the cdn network we are able to getting with this link directly yes you can use the same link as well and uh, here you can observe the more things jquery first then proper uh, js then bootstrap js this is the order you have to follow whenever you are going to calling this type of scripts from web pages like a real time whereas you are going to be integrating in your local project as well you to follow the same thing strongly remember all right that is the way you can go with uh, have uh, like a bootstrap functionality in your local system the same thing will be applied as well and if you want to make it as in a local environment of the all the libraries of jquery like a bootstrap go to home there you will identify just download and you find the download here yes you just press the button of the download and go here to like a run for uh, uh, this click button and you will be get the all the libraries which are available in bootstrap make it as available in your folder of uh, one project and uh, appropriately you specify the link of the files that's all that's all about if you are going to be run like an um, our uh, open source systems of linux flavor operating systems there you can you have to use via N npm there is a module called npm install bootstrap or if you want to like uh, get a specific version you run this command like 4.5 is on the latest version it is going now you check with this our bootstrap cdn networks these are the links are ready css only if you want and js proper js and jquery these links to be linked at your page all we have seen as well and bootstrap icons more icons are available how to call and everything you will be learned here all right in our next lecture onwards we'll see one by one with the work with the functional work with the bootstrap component all thank you for watching this lecture thank you hello welcome to this lecture in this lecture you are going to learn the grid system in bootstrap 4 using bootstrap 4 powerful mobile first flexbox grid 2 build layouts of all shapes and sizes of the layout 12 column system by default responsive tires and many of predefined classes where you to practice yourself how it is going to be built bootstrap's grid system uses a series of container rows and columns to lay out and align the content to look and feel at your html web page it's built with flexbox and is a fully responsive here is an example in depth look how the grid comes and together of your web page.
let's say a basic grid system example here see the hundred percent of the page it is showing the first div is having four columns that is one of the four column one second one third one and fourth one these four are segregated separately and equal portions they have occupied whereas if i given the flexibility of the columns within the two only if i used as an attrib tag they have uh, segregated with two portions only it is occupied and uh, it is displayed similar way like, like uh, the way where i am using three if the three portions if i used simultaneously it is a uh, like uh, separated with the three columns how it is easy the bootstrap framework like a uh, using of the container will be taken care of all these things we need not to write and specify the level as well yes here if we want to make it as a custom level as well to present the data and the present the portion of any of the layouts and boxes within the our control environment Yes, you can put it as a number by mentioning the column tails. Now, in this, see here, the four columns are taken for this div, and uh, this were applied for six levels. It's almost it is taken care of the 12. For this column, if I applied six portions to be applied for this column, the rest of the things will be empty, and it is a column is occupied the rest of the space, and it would be comes to the next line here itself. How it is all. We'll see in more practical way. Let's see the code part. See, this is the form. Very simple. You will get this all the code from getbootstrap.com with the grid system. All you have to identify where the grid system is located and take a copy of this code and paste and uh, work with in your local web page environment. Very easy. I hope you are uh, having a good understand how to take a copy. You have not gone through that uh, how to copy. You check our previous lecture. You have a good idea very simply how we are going to be grab it from this uh, lecture of uh, like a get bootstrap. All right. Now see for this continuation of this div. Like see here, div tag it is taken. That is the first one. And here it is a class is container. That's it. We need not to do anything. Moreover, you have uh, strongly remember that for any of like uh, our page which we are going to be implementing using Bootstrap, you have to call this link. It's mandatory. And this is the viewport for the purpose of responsiveness of a HTML form. All right. And coming to the part, this is the CSS. How you want to apply the CSS is your up to your wish. And come to the part of uh, any like body part now. The div, the first one I have taken for four equal parts. Like see, the row, class, row I have taken here. And uh, here, the div, what I am doing within the row, this is the open and this is the end tag. Within the row, I have taken four columns, call, C-O-L, call, iPhone, SM, it's in a class. So it is automatically four, I have mentioned the four, no? So it is a four equal part, four portions it is taken. That's it. For this, this is one of, two of, three of, four of, this is. That is only very simple. And a second one, it is a, another like a taking two break lines to distinguish the space between these divs. And uh, this is the div tag, it's open and end tag here. Like I have mentioned, is a class container. And uh, see the row, the same row, I have taken one row for column one and two means two columns only so it is in a 12 levels of the like a 12 of the size of the column length means if i take in two it will be making automatically the flexibility of 50 percent of the column it will be occupied the first one and second one is 50 percent you see in here and third one you see if i take in three columns of the portion with the another row so it will be divided by into three columns now let's see this here one two three. how you can handle where you want to handle your data to be present at the grid system easy to present yourself and moreover custom we have discussed about it the next day the container is common 
and the plus row and the row calls is 4 I am defining like this you want to 4 6 12 like this you can take here and uh, for the portion four columns here it is taken whereas one for six only for reserved for this third one so six is reserved for third one means this is the reserved for six portion rest of six it is uh, like a taken it is two two by like a three like a three three it is divided into these two the rest of it is a predefined so it is taken once the 12 is over it will automatically comes to the next row Likewise, you can handle and you can make it as a custom development of your own environment. Very easily. I hope you are very familiar how to prepare like a grid system in Bootstrap. Thank you for watching this lecture. Thank you. Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you are going to know about how to integrate mailbars in your HTML form using Bootstrap 4. It's a very simple and handling mailbars in your HTML form. I am assuring that, but you know you should know how to click a copy of a code of mailbars and which is already ready-madely built for you to use. See here. Adding navbars with bootstraps powerful responsive navigation helping the navbar, including support for branding, navigation, and more, including support for our collapse plugins. Using bootstrap for plugin, like a default plugins, and also add your custom CSS styles to make more interactive of your navbars and menu items and all. Not only taking the code of this information of your uh, bootstrap code, yes, you can also make it as a more beautification of your uh, HTML form as well as uh, these plugins. Using this navbar menu item will help you to website user can easily navigate throughout the website pages and uh, web project and web application as well. How? See, this is the code I have uh, taken from this. Go to getbootstrap.com and click her of uh, documentation. Here the documentation, you find out like uh, some of uh, components. Yes, here you come very simple, a super exciting example and you do. Now click here, navbar. That's it. Almost you are reached. Now see here, drag it down and find out which you comfortable and source. This is the model it is showing for this. If you want exactly, you take a copy of this one. And scroll down. If you want like a branding, only the header title, if you want, you take this. And if you want to, in advance, if you want to present like your own logo, you take simply this code and add your top of your now bar. But simply see if you want to write up something you just take a copy of this and you can add it and then now only the now like this scroll down huge like a huge ready-made functionalities of the code is already available here what you want to do is just simply find out where which now bar will suit you now bar is will comes like in a header how it is displayed here that is the way it will come. Like see here, the hello world it is here, the bootstrap navbar and the menu items and the menu top link, link a button if you want to take, button you want to take and a drop down also it is there. And also adding disable, the link will, will not be function. Yes, some of the restricted pages, you may choose like a disable option. If the user is able to log in, then only you can give an enable for this form like a button. Per click all right and search and advanced also it is given very simply super easy now how we can grab it and integrate to our site now yeah 
This is the code I have already done with my YouTube. That's it. Removing. This is the startup template of like our bootstrap. Very simple. These are the things and the links it is ordered. And within the body is nothing here. So what I'm doing here, the bootstrap site and uh, find one of the things. Yeah, you find here which suits your navbar. All right. I hope I uh, have uh, taken some navbar from around the uh, like a uh, multi options are available for this only. Let's take a copy of this code. Very simple copy of this code and go back to your HTML form. It is not like uh, branding. Just simply rename that navbar to your company name. Hurry, just turns. Yes, refresh. Very simple. Is it here? And if you want to change the links, and if you want to provide a link item like uh, using the hashtag, you can you can just remove it and index.html or uh, index.php. What is the form you are going to be placing with uh, this hashtag? You can place about here. That's it. Everything will be done. If you want to make more custom CSS, you can write your own CSS as well to make it as in a unique page of your web form as well as website. That is a super easy to have a nav bus. I hope a very simple and how to grab it and integrate your site with this nav bus, which is a very much pretty important for most of the websites as well as the publications. I hope you are more familiar. Go through with a different type of nav bars are here, which will suit your uh, development and environment, and which will go like a color schemes are also here ready madely. Which color it will suit you? Go with it. Try to practice more and more. Thank you for watching this lecture. Thank you. Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you are going to learn forms design using Bootstrap. It's a very simple and super excitement you will gain to know how to use this form control adding along with the Bootstrap framework. See here, it's a, one is the HTML email address, the input tag box, how the beautification it is coming. The radius of uh, the text box input tag it's automatically it is coming. I didn't write any a single line of code here. And uh, see the second one it is here like a password. When I click the password, how it is coming? All it's very very simple and pretty easy to do. And check me out. This is the box is here check box and the button of submit. Have you seen here? All are very simple to understand. Like what you to do is go to bootstrap site, the documentation here you can observe under the documentation, there is an a components here it is and go to the forms. Let's check here, n number of forms are here only. This is the code only I have taken, copy of this code and add to our site. That's it. The form tag where you have to place on the body place, you place it. That's it. And moreover, if you want to more advanced forms like this, see the drop downs, select items, multi text line area, all you will get it here. And moreover, choose file. Yes, sizing, read only, read only plain text, all you will get it from what you want. Check with the number of forms and grades and available number of options over here one by one. I hope you are more, more excited to apply all these in your HTML form. Thank you for watching this lecture. Thank you. Hello. Welcome to this lecture. In this 
lecture, you will be known how to apply table creation in HTML form with the help of bootstrap framework. See the page you are seeing here, it's a very beautification called the table header is applied something here. Color and opposite color of font colors. And see, one, two, three, this is the text is a bold. And here it is a getting some rows. And in between the table, we can also highlight some row like this. We'll see how it is very easy using Bootstrap. Go to the code part. Let's see here how it is super easy. I'll show you here very simple. Like a table, how we are going to prepare it in our HTML, we'll use the table. And table head, we'll take it. And the table class, it is a we just is simply called as uh, it's in a table class that's it and moreover here you have to apply for the table head like a key head hyphen dark you can change this many classes are available to identify where you to identify i'll show you and the table body once it is a completed table head you have to initiate table body and the scope the rows you have to specify in between if you want to make it as something like a light or anything if you want to color like this you can make one more head and apply this thing that's it, all about to go over. And all this code, by making a simple table called here, you will get it from that bootstrap side. You see here, if you want to find out a table will be in the component cities. If you didn't find like a component, you just, just simply search here, table. That's it, you click the table here, and you will get the table exactly where it is. Now see here, the example of a basic table, here it is. Take this copy of this code and appropriately you can change the column titles and uh, the headers, what you want to display. And moreover, you see the beautification of this table. You simply take the table dot, that's it. You will be getting all this. And if you want to change like, a, this is the example I have shown you for our example, real time with our practical session. And moreover, you will see here, stripper show like this. If you want, you can take this thing. Very simple, like a table stripper. You have to call the table space, table icon stripped. You will get this view. How many rows? It's not a problem at all for to display. Any number of rows are go going to be creating here in this particular table. It will be all will apply the same style. And whatever you take this, this is the dark and uh, this is the light completely and uh, bordered, like a border it is displaying rather than it is not having the border. And uh, moreover, you will get like this and uh, see the plane without border. Likewise, you will find n number of table hover and uh, hover like see, when I place the mouse, it will be highlighting something. If you want this effect in your table, you just take a copy of this and add your code form of this place of uh, after the body you have to take these lines and replace which body and which table you want to display at your html form see more examples you can take small table and the small fonts and a dark with the same and more beautification of the colors as well one by one all the colors will be displaced one by one like see here active primary secondary Success, danger, which color you want to like a primary success, secondary success, danger, warning, which uh, like uh, if you want to make uh, something a row is a warning or low profile or something. You are distinguishing rows uh, with a different type of value condition. Yes, you make it as a now, make the specified condition uh, throughout this particular class. You will get the colors and more beautification of the colors here. See, such way you can easily tag tackle these things and uh, display the code very simple super easy yes i hope you will practice more and more for this table to make it as a uh, creation of uh, uh, presenting the data of your beautification with the help of bootstrap thank you for watching this lecture thank you
Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you are going to learn bootstrap components. What are the components? How simple we can use these components to make it our development rapid speed. Click start to grab the code of the component and just simply adding to our HTML form wherever we require to present this particular component activity and we can simply avail all these components. The bootstrap will, the ready-made functionality library will offer you to use quickly, like a take a copy of lines of code based on which component you are looking for and avail of it to running by calling this component to integrating this bootstrap framework. How we will see a few examples over here of the base components are Alert system, badge, breadcrumb, button and group, cards, carousel, collapse, drop downs, forms, navbars, pop overs, progress, scroll spy, toll tip, and many more. We have seen a few of components over here for how to integrate to our HTML form. Rest of we'll have more and more we'll cover in our next lectures. Let's see here a few. Let's open the page. This is the components.html is designed for this session for and see the alert system. You will whenever you are submitted something and uh, you will see a message. Yes, you are record or you were registration submitted successfully. There you have to present a message to the end user. So there you can make it as if it is positive. Most of the green message will be Please. If it is a warning, you may try to like exclamatory error message. If you want to give simple warning, you use this color or simple danger like a validation or issues like this. You may show like this color. Like way the secondary message, primary alert, successful and a simple information for alert. Any simple or simple light alert if you want to display a simple dark you want to display like this type of activities you can take very pretty easy. And moreover, you will get an alert system from Bootstrap. It's a super easy. Now see here, the alert system will get a line of code like a class you will call it. Like alert and alert primary, the role of alert. This is the class you are going to call from the div tag. And it would be presenting a simple information, which color and which information you want to justify. The color is designed here primary, secondary, and success. Based on your requirement, you can choose. That's all about. It will be automatically, like you have to make it as a functional output wherever you require. That is the one thing. And the second one, I would like to tell you, like breadcrumbs. These are the breadcrumb option you identify, see here. We can call it as the navigation part we are going to offering to the end user. The user, wherever he is, like uh, this home library, the extension links will come one by one. Where, where he wants to go, based on that link, he will click the button and automatically the page will be redirected. This is so called breadcrumb. It's a very easy to integrate to your website by calling this option of uh, area label breadcrumb. That's navbar and area label breadcrumb and class also breadcrumb. That's it. This is the part you have to put into your number. And come to the part of uh, breadcrumb, three different variations I have given. For, uh, for, this is for one home library and extension of the data as well. And this is also active, which is the active page. We are going to be following this active. And come to the part of cards. This is the most popular and uh, most designing cards are available in nowadays in Bootstrap. There, some of the bootstrap may come with the text only and some of the boot cards will come with the images and also you will get from somehow like a, here it is in a button you will get it. The card will have a facility to populate how your product information to be displayed. These are the cards that's it. You will get it from the page of bootstrap also and come to the part of the last component we are going to be discussing here it is page nation how the pagination is be like this. You are having multiple pages of the data loaded into the 
front end form where you are going to be presenting like uh, each page is having some around 20 rows, 10 rows. Likewise, you can make it as a distinguished. And the pagination 1, 2, 3, 4, next functionality you have to give. That's it. That's all about our session of these components. Very super and easy to integrate of your page. I hope it's very simple. You will get it from here, all the components. In our next lecture onwards, we'll see one by one components also. We'll see how to use. Thank you for watching this lecture. Thank you. Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you are going to learn how to present God's component in HTML form using with the help of Bootstrap. It's very simple and easy to apply, like uh, presenting the cards. This is an example. I'm I'm going to displaying something around uh, plants with the pricing. In my site, see, it's a quickly built with the effective price table of your potential customers to be displayed like a using bootstrap example. To extending this example, you will have enough wonders. You can create the presentation of your cards. Let's see, the three cards here is taken with the three titles. You can place it as a title, very simple and pretty easy the pricing. And the things, what are the features are available with that product, you can add here. And like the button, if we, the user is interested to buy or availing for the registration to know more about this, you can click here this button, start it, contact us and sign up. The three different variation options are available here to understand about your catalog or product display. It's a very super easy how it is. We'll see now with the code part of this. It's a very simple to take the cards to taking the card code from Bootstrap and take this part paste here. That's it. You will get the cards and information and you can make it as a customization of yourself. The class is card deck MB3 means it is displays three cards. And the card body you have to call this class and this is the part you have to use for and independent cards. How it is, we will see one by one from real time web page. Go to the website of Bootstrap. Here you go to that part of components. Here you will identify the option of card. A simple example I have given you for to understand more about these cards. And here you can extend more and more. See, this is the one type of card. You can take this card code along with image also you can display over here. How it is displaying very super exciting. And this is the part of the code only. By taking one card of code, you can make it as a multiply of the copy of the same thing and you will have a n number of cards how many you want. And like see, the component to like a content type if you want to, to make the body, and text and links if you want like this you can take this this is the part of the part only you can add there and you will get these links and the images if you want to make it more how you are going to be look like a group of the cards and see how it is featured along with the links the like a sub sub buttons and the links and the text and the title of the card and image all are together here and the header and footer for this card can make headers and footers. You scroll down featured cards and a quick response. Like see the feature two days ago, how it is. Whatever you want to customize the card, you can and sizing the cards by using this thing. It is a very simple how we are going to be applying like a calling predefined bootstrap framework. The thing is also is applied here. And a super exciting, you see here, like using custom CSS. Yes, it is possible to apply your custom classes as well. 
and see the button where it should be in the clients. Three are the variations are there where you want to see, you can. And moreover, the navigation along with this card. And the see here, the activation within the card also, you can add the navigation bar. And a full like uh, image caps for the header image to be big, you can. The n number of the things are available here, how you want to display. The card it is showing left side image and right side text. This is the one of the type of uh, image. And colorful cards, if you want to display, you can like blue or gray, green, red, web colors, which is the color you want to present. This is using this and applying the colors. You can have the colors. Multicolors also. And the borders, if you want to display like this with the color text. See. You just go through this card options, whatever the card you want, n number of cards are available here and with the different variations, what you do is just simply take the code of that line, take to your HTML form and apply, you will really enjoy a lot. Moreover, you want to like a display the card information by making such type of product information or along with the products you want to display, all the component of card component, it will be used here. I hope you are familiar to how to use these cards and uh, knowing about these cards. Practice well and gain more. Thank you for watching this lecture. Thank you. Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, you are going to learn model in Bootstrap. How to use models and how to integrate these model pop-ups in our HTML form with the help of Bootstrap framework. It's a very simple and easy. Yes, I'll show you how it is. See here, some text is displaying. With the one button I have prepared here for you to easily understand. Launch static backdrop model. If I click this, see the pop up model, it is coming. And the background of all will be some around, it's a change to gray color. And the pop up is displaying like this. And the model title, this is the model title, you can make it your custom convenience. What is the information you want to be present at the model? And along, hello, I'm static model pop up. You want to stay here? Yes. Understood means the button I didn't give in any action. Yes. And if I close this, the pop-up will automatically close. How it is easy? If you want to see more information about the products or the user is going to be click something, some action, you want to show a proper meaningful information to the user, you always try to use such type of model. And some around, if you want to like a user to be collect some data and you want to alert the user by making pop-ups also very much pretty useful while you are preparing of your responsive like a bootstrap with the HTML applications and projects. Now let's see here, we'll go with the code part, how it is. When I press the launch, it will be shown. With the, within not only the launch, you can place it the, any information over here. Now, it's a very simple how it is. Now see here with my code part, what I have done here. I have a used for button, type of button, class, this is the class I have used, and data toggle, it is a model, and the data target, what to be called. When I press the button, what are the form, what are, what are the activity to be called as in a pop-up and to be out to be in a window, small window is the preparing like pop-up and to be displayed. That we have to prepare like this. The model is prepared here. See the div tag and the ID it is given like a static backdrop, which is the ID name I have given. The same ID name you have to present at data iPhone target this here with the hashtag you have to call it as an ID. So this would be called when I press this button, this would be called and it will be populated. What to be populated there and what to be shown. Like a model title I have given, this is the title only will be displaced there. 
and that some text I want to be display like a model body and the model footer I have a place of two links one is close and one is understood anything text you can click here and by making the customization all will to go to the considering all these things to be placed like uh, our customization text and the buttons whatever we require where it may be continue or add as you are wish to place the button text and making this such a beautification of this simple technique of the model pop-ups you can take over this code as well as you will collect this all code from getbootstrap.com as well collect there itself as well from here and uh, preparing a .html page where you want to uh, like uh, display this model and uh, click the button you will get the model pop up and also not only the action of uh, on click you will be placed like uh, using the javascript activities of uh, on load on time on the uh, on event on focus such wise you can also prepare and uh, pop up these type of models very quickly and I hope you'll get it and uh, use the more and more uh, try to apply in your projects and the models to using this uh, very simple exciting code and I uh, use this and in order to like uh, you have to like uh, maintain the tag of the model where you have to use the ID the data iPhone target you have to specify the ID of the div that's it rest of the thing it will be taken care of thank you for watching this lecture thank you Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn about popover component in Bootstrap. What is popover? Why we require to use popover in Bootstrap component? Yes, popover will give you like a more exciting like a information you can provide and you can share more than what you are expecting to the additional information to the user with your products or buttons or cards anything wherever you are to like uh, making an, a popover and you want to present additional information to the user this will be more helpful you to use it how it is we'll see now see in the section 2 there is an, a button it is showing here like a view when i place my mouse here you now see if i click view what it is showing popover type now it will comes an extension of additional window over there so the pop-up is coming when i click the button of this it is able to see it's a button click when i have prepared for button click whereas if you want to wish to make it as an on mouse over pop-up yes you can make on mouse over on click on change on load likewise you can have this feature to make it in availability of your button this is the most useful like a like a online e-learning courses you may observe that whenever you are placing your mouse at a single course you will get additional information that like uh, the features of the course one by one will be there like uh, the course title you will get and the options you will get how you are going to be preparing your card display information all you will be like a uh, design like this pop-up as your wish and this popover title is having like the popover window you will get in a directions as well it may be top bottom left right these are the things you can define as your wish and moreover you see very simple if you want to wish to see the popover you will see here like this to integrate this in your controls of a popover go to cards of uh, like a bootstrap things like a documentation here you will observe that pop overs very super exciting like a proper dot js is required to add here with the third part library you will be seen here also and a makeover to enable pop overs everywhere where you require this thing to be required to call the pop over and uh, now see here the container uh, click here to toggle pop over have you seen here by making this line you will get it by having these things of uh, like a popover.js whenever you are integrated to your like HTML form. All right.
that is the super easy pop our tool tip you will get it like this and extend right left all the things you will see by taking all this code four directions you will see what you require more and there you can custom you were like a so what is the pop over how to be display you can design yourself how you are going to be designed like images and text and the rating hello welcome to this lecture in this lecture, you are going to learn about tool tip. This is a component very much useful when you want to know about the link and when you want to know the action about the button. This simple tool tip you are going to providing for end user who is a seeing and observing your website. More information you are going to providing rather than he is going to be visiting the particular link or button. This tool tip will help you to understand what is the section one, what is the section two, and what is the section three. Everything he will be known here itself, knowing about something courses, knowing about something about admission information, and knowing about the services, and knowing about the contact details. Everything will be by making the tool tip option will provide to the end user over here. Like C, we have a discussed of our about the pop up of every like a previous lecture. Here also, you will be known like a multiple options are available for tooltip. Like a, you want to present like a left tooltip or right tooltip and top as well as bottom. You see here. Like I have applied different different portions of here. You have seen that. As you custom this tooltip wherever you want to present and where you want to display this type of tooltip, very easy, it's a super easy. Let's go over here, right, uh, like a site of Get Bootstrap, and uh, go to find out a uh, option called tooltip. See here, this is the tooltip option. For this tooltip to be make it as a functional, you have to like a proper.js and proper.bin.js to be run before bootstrap js or use these things to apply in your page you strongly remember and uh, moreover this is the document is there you can go to understand very easily and see here in the top tooltip bottom left right all the things will here ready-madely functionality once the tooltip is a functional it anyone is the top or left or anything means the javascript which is uh, working in your form is successful there you can apply all these things. You can avail of this button tool tips. Tool tip will information will give you the way and the more you are going to be educating your user to understand what he is going to be do. This is the additional component and latest tool tip which is coming with Bootstrap. And very easily you can give the user and uh, moreover if you want more options you want to know like uh, animation type and all the things. You, you can go through with this document. It's a very simple how to use, what are the options are available. You will know many things and how to apply and how to call the classes and everything you will be known here. Like you see here, it's an element is the ID and a class with the dot you will be follows. Most of the classes and methods you will be known, I hope. Apply in your real world examples and know about to do like uh, animating like a uh, tool tips thank you for watching this lecture thank you hello welcome to this lecture in this lecture you are going to learn about scroll spy component in bootstrap how we are going to integrating scroll spy component in our html form along with bootstrap framework it's a very simple and easy the usage of scroll spy what it is yes you are making a single page website the page is having 
like a segregation of the sections are having more call it may be like a home about us contact services products yes all you can put it as in a single html form itself and by pressing the menu icon what you will do what is the tab of menu icon he is the user is going to be pressing or clicking that particular portion of the information you are going to be presenting on live screen how it is very simple by seeing the scroll spy will help you to make it easy now see i am expanding the page like you think about it this is the mdvo is there pat is there different type of sections when i press mdvo it will be make ready to display like a top mdvo see here it is mdvo is visible here right and when i press the drop down something like a one it is coming to the one is the head of the part likewise what it will do this is the three things only but uh, it's making some difficult to identify if i press pat pat is the like a uh, active link very simply i can simply now it is a word i have uh, find out active link and active content part you will be displays at the main place the scroll spy will help you like this and also you can scroll the entire page otherwise if you want to press these things where you want to go exact the point will comes under sit at the active portion of your page how it is going to be used very simple of a single page web pages just go to the google of uh, get board strap and here you have an option of components scroll spy and uh, see here the scroll spy automatically update bootstrap navigation list group components based on the scroll position indicate which link is currently you in the viewport all right now let's see here this is the example only i have taken let's see if i want to press this one it is going to be activated and if i press this one it will be activated so wise you can make it as in a your comfortable page to be activating highlighting and automatically it is highlighting and when i click that that portion will comes to the live i am set active see example with the different different type of menu items you can choose the left side menu bar top menu bar and here if i am click this one that will be activated and it will be displays in the active window so how it is easy more options are available yes likewise you can go with here item 2 item 3 if you press item 3 likewise if you scroll here based on your scrolling automatically it will be set active of the item of the left menu how which one you comfortable to use and which is the useful more for you you can apply this scroll spy and avail like a single pages and more content if you want to display to the user within the less space you use the scroll spy you will get and display more and more information of the bootstrap component i hope you are familiar with the usage of uh, scroll spy and it's very easy like a uh, using in the code part let's see here the bootstrap scroll spy what i am going to doing here it is like a uh, some header navbar it is there header navbar the id which is called for the scroll the data hyphen spy scroll you have to apply and the data target navbar example two you have to write that's it then you can get the functionality the complete the functionality by calling the id of this you will get the functionality perfectly i hope you are very much familiar to use of uh, usage of this scroll spy try to practice more and more you will get an a great idea with the creating of the wonders thank you for watching this lecture thank you hello welcome to this lecture in this lecture you are going to learn a project based how we are going to be initiating with bootstrap framework this is the app landing page this is a very simple super to use in your local teams 
this is a C start bootstrap here it is showing the link and these three links are here and uh, see how the image and uh, the links are how beautified the colors and the buttons you would see here and moreover these are the boxes are displaying here with the mobile and all I am displaying like a simple exciting features when I am download like a making scroll down the automatically the features are highlighting here see here and the contact is it, it is going to be highlighting here yes if I click features it will be applied like a scrolls by option it is applied very simple if I press the download you will get it and this is even for this app downloading like a landing page I didn't written a single line of code will you believe this yes I didn't whereas I have a free provision to get this thing completely absolutely free of cost yes you to find out many of such a beautiful ready-made functionality themes are available in bootstrap where you can find out here like a go to that examples you find out see here and uh, custom components pricing checkouts products these are the independent like a ready-made functionalities are available here you just simply download and use it of your computer with the local project and whereas you can go with the themes see here the themes are ready-madely it is built for you some of the free themes are available and some of the themes are to be buy like uh, see here the prices they have uh, initiated here and the which you suits for the theme you can go like uh, with the license if you want to practice more you will get a free bootstrap themes you just simply type like a uh, in search you like uh, app landing theme bootstrap bootstrap app like a uh, landing page a second landing page template go with the template it is called as template like a start bootstrap.com this is you can go with this uh, site start bootstrap.com open over here let's see you will find many bootstrap landing page themes see here it is in a pro means it's a licensed versions where you can find see this is the stylish portfolio it's absolutely free yes here you can just click it and download and customize yourself and simply you will excite more excite this is the new age this is the theme only i'm going to presenting at uh, like a desktop uh, what we have uh, seen here in this page it is this one only see how it is pretty easy most of the free themes are available ready madely the templates, snippets, guides, most and most of the things are available ready madely. You just grab it and use for these themes, and uh, you will make wonders by preparing of Bootstrap. I'm assured, I'm, I'm telling you really. Start today with the Bootstrap by taking these type of templates and try to make over applying different type of variations and uh, like uh, like we have a uh, discussed components in your local html form with the bootstrap 4 and make wonders be ready thank you for watching this lecture i hope this is the session is very much pretty useful for you to get a very simple free exciting offers and themes from web really thank you for watching this session thank you Hello, welcome to this lecture. This lecture is specifically designed for you to how to get free HTML ready-made bootstrap themes. Like called, it's in a free templates. See here, themes.getbootstrap.com. You visit here and you will get n number of themes are there. Whereas in this particular site, you have to like a buy the theme more and more exciting 
you are willing to see any free yes you can use it for your development purpose and moreover you will see here like a click the category and here you will get see the category here admin dashboard and landing and corporate pages application e-commerce portal i'm going to the click for the e-commerce retail templates see here ready-made templates are here if you are uh, like a uh, keep on changing these uh, prices and all which will suits you you have to buy them and if you want to go with a particularly blue like a uh, bootstrap templates with a free you go with free bootstrap start bootstrap.com themes landing pages and the themes are there templates are here many templates you will find out see headers generic navigation layout e-commerce when i am clicking e-commerce let's see bootstrap e-commerce templates yes these are also free you initiate any one of the template and start design with your own and sb admin pro it will be charged pro or like a charge means you will get more and more template pages which is a ready-made functionalities which is already done most of the pages this is the way you can like a take with the if you are a learner you can take with the free templates and you will avail it and try to practice more and more with these templates and begin if you suits more and uh, you are having less time and if you can buy with the template of ready-made functional template and you can make it as in a custom you are wish to like a changes very quickly it will support you i hope uh, you are uh, useful for this lecture Thank you for watching this lecture. Thank you. Hello, welcome to this lecture. Here you will be known references for Bootstrap 4. Download Bootstrap framework from getbootstrap.com and free bootstrap templates you will get it from getbootstrap.com docs 4.5 and examples you will get the examples from more and more and uh, for to know more about the bootstrap with a real time and accurate data visit here with the wiki and now these are the three important things you would like to know like js javascript popper.js and jquery these three things you will get it from this link with the having these three CDN links to make over to function and use more and more components of Bootstrap like a ready-made functionality libraries. I hope it is a useful you to avail of this uh, stuff for the references. Thank you for watching this lecture. Thank you. Hello, welcome here. This is the lecture for you to giving a simple and a very simple assessment test for you to test your skills of our previous lecture. This is the assessment is very simple. Like uh, prepare three pricing display cards and show the below. Like a uh, pricing and quick to build and effective view. Like this, you have to take three cards and. Uh, like a free pro enterprise these three cards you have to prepare in html form along with the bootstrap framework and you i would like to know how you are going to prepare it and anyhow you will be known about this solution in our next lecture thank you Hello, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture is for you to providing a solution for uh, assessment given to you in our previous lecture. It's a very simple and uh, I'm not going to be make you to write a single line of code to solve this solution. How it is? Yes, just quickly you go to this site of like uh, getbootstrap.com there you will find out in a documentation see here 
and the documentation there is in a much more hard example or else you visit here in examples are here very simply and now this is the pricing tab it is displaying a template click the pricing yes it's readily it's available here just download this code and take your local page of html and gets it ready how it is easy all you need to know where you want to get and grab the code and uh, have a, with the play with this uh, bootstrap library that's all about the solution thank you for watching this session thank you hello welcome to this lecture here you are going to learn five bootstrap interview questions and answer these are very simple questions i have prepared for you let's see about explain advantages of bootstrap why we require to use bootstrap what are the advantages are there here for using bootstrap in our html projects not only the html any web project you try to involve and uh, add the bootstrap uh, like a library involvement where you will get uh, more and more lightweight pages let's see here to developing highly responsive quick and easy to use layout design the main advantage of bootstrap is observed while developing mobile front-end applications to load page very very quickly these templates help in creating ui alert messages buttons forms cards and display many more and come to the next one explain bootstrap container what is container a bootstrap container consists of html elements code that can be placed for making them highly responsive and quickly loads web page application and what is grid system in bootstrap and explain it a grid system like a, a grid system is bootstrap uses in quickly making up to 12 column across a web page this way using this placing the content of a web page in different columns which can be used to present the content and where to hide and making headings as well with the bootstrap like a, segregating the grid system in our web page who initiated and developed bootstrap mark otto and jacob turnot at twitter it is initiated and developed bootstrap and how many layouts available in bootstrap specify them see two layouts are available in bootstrap one is fluid layout and fixed layout fluid layout tells that its design automatic adjust the behavior size based on the screen sizes and the fixed layout tells that its design doesn't adjust automatically where it is in responsive that's all about our top interview questions and answers for more quick help you search with the google or stack overflow is there for you to help very quick response anyhow in this lecture platform is also having a support of the instructor where you are having any clarifications regarding this just ping me a message will help you surely thank you for watching this lecture thank you